Warehouse entries and Business Central have their own separate lives. From my item card, if I'm drilling into my inventory field, I will actually only see my item ledger entries. This will be the same view that I'd have if I'm going from my navigation tab into the entries and take the first one, item ledger entries. My item ledger entries is what control the amounts on inventory. I would like to add the filter here for the example. Just a second. I have the filter directly on the item card. So in this scenario, I have like eight item ledger entries with quantities, amounts, etc., but not with bin code. So it's not a matter of warehouse transactions. And there's no link between those entries and the warehouse entry. Meaning if I'm navigating into my entries, I can find value entries, application entries, etc. But I can't find warehouse entries because the life of the warehouse entry is a separate table that is just a stamp each time something is happening in the warehouse. This means if I'm navigating on my item into the entries again, I could view the warehouse entries, of course, and in the example on my location here, if I just add my location code on this one, like before, I can see here I have like 39 warehouse entries, but this is just entries with stamps of quantity and unit of measure code. And I cannot navigate from those entry into my warehouse entries because they're not tied together by any application or any other thing. So it's just a separate table. And I do have tools in the different journals to align those two things and make everything be correct against each other. So of course it's synchronized, but it's not linked.